welcome back. This is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play Skyrim. I'm joined, as always, by the true dragonborn and his wife, Gulag Malarg and Borgak the Steelheart. When we last left off, we were doing a little bit of work uh, in the main quest, and then we got a note that brings us back to a side quest. So, we are going to head back to Solstheim. Now, I should have a couple things with me that will help. After that, though, uh, we are going to head back to uh, Sarthal. I did have a request uh, for some more work on Solstheim. Uh, we'll go to the Barrow first to try to kill as much time as we can with that, and then we will uh, take on a probably chain of side quests that can be given to us from a uh, Morrowind guy. What are you guys doing? Khajiits everywhere. No dragons. I didn't see any dragons. I think that was a tree that I saw. Yeah. yeah. As far as I can tell, this is the fastest way to get to the ship. Feels like there should be a faster way, but I can't tell what it is. All right, there's a dragon. Is he coming this way? There you go. Oh, it looks like he's kind of flying off. All right, we'll just head back to Solstheim. We'll, we'll deal with dragons some other time. I do like dealing with dragons, just uh, not too much point in going out of my way to do that right now. Yeah? My Take me back. ready to sail. My ship's ready to sail, if you've brought enough gold. Yes, there you go. Right, then. Why do you have to say it twice? Let's be off. <laughs> You're scaring me, game. I, I did do a little bit of work before, and then the game crashed on me, so I, I just started over, but uh, now I'm wary about any little hiccup that the game gives me. <laughs> I know there's going to be Gallen one here. The business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. There it is. Okay, now we're hopefully ready to go. Uh, let's warp out of here straight back to Colbjorn Barrow, and we'll see what else we can do while we're here. Uh, there is this guy. I bet uh, some people died due to Draugr. My guess. And now you're back. Great. Just great. Didn't you ask me to come here? What is it this time? Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts but waves and waves of Draugr? That's kind of At a least complaint that I have, yes. the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive? Sure, why not? All right, clear the Draugr. Search for the missing miners. Ooh. All right, so I think we read volume 19 before. Yeah. All right, so there's also 20 and 21. So let's read the Journal of Rallis Sedaris. Let's go with that. Volume 20. This excavation is going to be one of the harder ones. I can tell. Hired some diggers out of Raven Rock. They all said they were experienced miners, but I guess they're not used to running into trouble as they dig. In a place like this, you never know what was buried long ago and have to be ready for whatever you come across. In any case, there were some unfortunate losses when the sleeping dead weren't quite sleeping and weren't quite dead. Operation is stalled until my friendly partner is able to find enough coin for us to hire some replacements. Maybe it's time to take up a collection from the constant spectators who gather to mock me? All right, let's read journal number 21. <laughs> My invisible friends have kept it up, drawing closer. It took me a while to realize they were hiding themselves, but I figure it's out of shame. It takes a certain type of cowardice to spend all your time questioning a man's worth and value. You'd think they'd have the decency to at least let me sleep, but they persist even there. This guy's nuts, isn't he? Great. As for the dig, we continued to stall out with the opposition from within the barrow. I had hoped the hardy people of this island would be able to deal with shuffling bones, but I appear to have overestimated them. I won't make that mistake again. Alright, we'll see. Let's head in. Kill some people. Is that... Eh, as it all's descent. I think we read that. I don't have any of my as it all stuff with me. They let me drop it off back at home, so I did. Uh, so I don't have his skull and I don't have his boots. I assume we'll be getting more of that kind of stuff as we continue, though. Looks a little different here. Ah, there's something down here. 
unlock the treasure chest. What do we have inside? Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially for a novice. Well, found a miner. <laughs> Did not make it. Should probably take out my weapon, shouldn't I? They're going to come for me. Oh, you can kind of see the treasure chest through there. But I already looted it. Surprise, surprise! There's, there's Dragger. There's one. Oh. Oh, you're a white. Power shot does the trick there. Am I not getting souls here? They're not lighting on fire either. I don't, I, I need more charge. Well, I got that soul. Where'd that other one go? There you go. I'm on your side. I I'm not supposed to You're be able to honor. I'm not supposed to be able to hit you anymore. What are you doing? I didn't What are you doing? That's not me. That's all you got. Yeah, that's 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 like a draugr over there. Alright, miner number two. Did all of these refill? I guess I shouldn't complain. Just a little weird. I didn't think I had been gone that long. Uh, empty. That's the one that I really want. Ew. No. Oh my. Uh, what's the shout? Do I hear that? Oh, I still got it. Yeah. How's this, huh? Get down there, huh? Just stay down. Isn't that where I got the boots before? I hear it. But, but I don't see it anywhere. Can't tease me like this game. Where is it? Where is it? Right, I think that's number three. Is that seriously that, that guy's not coming alive? Keep. Yeah, there we go. No shockers there. <laughs> I do have a little bit of charge left here. I should probably just recharge it now, though. Ringil, you get to be uh, recharged. Yeah, just whatever. I don't have anything that is uh, lower, or sorry, higher than a lesser here, so yeah, just whatever. What the hell was that? Is this, oh, Brayden. All right, he's got uh, Azadal's Descent. I swear we read that. Azadal's Descent. How long is this? No, we haven't read this. Okay, I think I skimmed it, but this seems to be important as we hear the dragon behind the dragon wall behind me. Azadal's Descent by Halund Greycloak. In the days beyond memory, when men first walked the lands of Skyrim, there arose in the city of Sarthal a great enchanter. As a boy, his gift for magic and artifice had been evident to his tutors. As a man, his skill surpassed them all. And finding nothing more to learn among his kin, he left wife and child and set out to train under the elven masters. A year became two, then three. And when, finally, his path led him back to Sarthal, he found only ruins, for the elves had sacked his city, and all that lived there were dead or gone. Amid the ashes and the smoldering ruins of his home, he swore a terrible oath of vengeance. And from that comes the name the legends give him, Azadal, the embittered destroyer. Alone he could do nothing, and so he bided his time, delving deeper into his art than any deeper into his art than any before him. From the Dwemer he learned the seven natures of metal and how to harmonize them. From the uh, let's go with eyelids? Eyelids? A Let's go with Aelids, otherwise it sounds like eyelids. Uh, the ancient runes and dawn magic even the elves had begun to forget. Among Falmer and Keimer and Altmer he traveled, taking what he could from each, and all the while plotting how he might turn that knowledge against them. Finally, word reached him of Ysgrimir and his companions, newly arrived from Atmora. For three days and nights he rode north and met them as they made landfall on the icy coast near the ruins of Sarthal which the elves had fortified against them. He offered the companions his service, and all he had produced in his years of labor. 
and with Atmor and Steel imbued with his enchantments, the elves fell before them, and at last he had his revenge. But he was not content. His craft had become his life, and his hunger for knowledge still gnawed at him, driving him to delve ever deeper. At long last, he exhausted the lore of the elves, but it was not enough. He sought the secrets of dragon runes and won for himself a seat among their high priests, but it was not enough. And at length, he turned his gaze to the plains of oblivion and found there both power and madness. Some say he ventured there never to return, others that he was betrayed by his fellow dragon priests and killed or driven into hiding in the ruins beneath his beloved Sarthal. Among the skull of Solstein, it is said he fled to their island and was sealed in the depths of Coldbjorn Barrow, together with his, the last of his relics. But that is the tale as it was told among the bards at, of Winterhold. Whatever the truth, the legend of Azadal was intended as a warning. In pursuit of perfection, one must take care that the pursuit itself does not become all-consuming. Now you can have that back. And we're gonna go. We're gonna find this damn word wall. After I loot. Looting is primary to words. All right, well, here's the chain. Yeah, no real shock there. Just death <laughs> And he just wasted that? That was weird. Like, pointed the other way with it. Alright, there's the chain. Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> Figured it was gonna be one of those two. And there's a trap here. Alright, easy enough. Draugr dead over here. Can't loot that. Oh, grab that, grab that. It didn't light on fire for me. Well, oh, we got uh, we got four handles and traps. It looks like they're one and three. Does that activate them? Ah. And then can I activate that? No, that just lowers it again. Um... Let's try the ones that aren't, like, trapped. Two and four. That didn't do it. All right, three. All right, three is the only one that's trapped. Let's try one. And then we'll do four again. That lowered that one. Let's raise that one. Two. And then four. All right, that seems to have done the trick. I think those just lower them again. Oh, well, we found the last of the uh, the miners here. There's a letter to his mom here, her mom. Morelli's letter to mother. Mother, I understand your worries, but there's really nothing that should frighten you that much. The first crew working here was a bunch of idiots and milk drinkers who didn't know how to wash their own backs. We might run into some trouble, but I've handled trouble before. The one who hired us, Rallis, is a bit of, of an odd one. I'm keeping my on, eye on him, though, so don't add that to your fretting. We'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Just worry about you and father and let me worry about myself. We'll talk when I'm home. There should be money enclosed with this, and if it's missing, you should take it out of the courier's hide. Yours, Morelli. You can have that back. As I try to figure out how to move forward. Wow. Lots of Draugr here. What? It locked up behind me. Was it timed or something? Oh, no. I bet it's when I kill all these guys. Yeah, there we go. All right. We cleared the Draugr. Never did find that word wall, though. feel like I have been everywhere that I can go. I still hear it, though. They're taunting me with it. I have a feeling that it's going to take one more trip here at least. Oh. No, wait. There's a handle there. I didn't see that. What do we got? Azadol's Ring of Necromancy. Anything else? I don't think they hide anything in there. All right, let's check out the ring. After all, it's one of the reasons why we're here. Whenever a creature you have reanimated takes damage, they explode for 50 points of frost damage and die. <laughs> Holy crap, we get reanimated corpse explosion. I'm going to have to tell Buttercrust about that. Uh... I think that's it. They're still taunting me with this wall, but like it sounds like it's 
out here, like that's the loudest it's been is, is out here, like over there. Like it's down here, under underneath the sand. But I don't know. Maybe it's this way. No, it got quieter over here. So it's over there, as best as I can tell. So we'll leave and come back. I got I got what I came for. Ebony arrow, fancy. All right, so now I have the skull, the boots, and the ring. I assume those are all Azadal's stuff, so I think we're good to go. Let's head back out to Solstheim, hopefully. Game? Thank you, game. Once again, it crashed on me earlier, and now I'm scared anytime there's any hiccup. But uh, I think we're done here. He's going to want more money. Any news? I've defeated the Draugr and located the missing miners. They're dead. I should have figured. Damn. Three thousand. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight should. Well, it'll set the miners at ease and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap either. I'm it's sure going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? Yeah, you don't know who you're talking to. This had better be worth it. There's a, there's a word wall down there. It's always going to be worth it. We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me on this. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, so we're going to take care of some uh, side quests that I got requested. If you do have some requests, feel free to let me know. I think he's back at Tel Mithrin. He could still be back in Raven Rock, though. One of the two locations. I think we saw him in both. Uh, I got a request to... Talk to Neloth or Neloth. I don't think I've heard him say his name. Oh, that's locked. Was it this one then? Another void. No, a spirit void. I think that's what. That's not a good sound that I hear. All right, this takes me into Telmithrin. I swear, Tel meant mountain. In like. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Let's let's float up. After Borgok's done there. All right, float up. How Hold you doing? still. Let me get a good look at you. What are you looking for? Incipient madness. Oh, that's fair. Self-awareness. Black spots in the whites of the eyes. Wait, what? Any of the documented indications of Hermaeus Mora's permanent influence? Hmm? No, you look fine. Well, at least no different than when I first saw you. Funny. Don't you want to know what happened with Mirak? Who? Oh, him. Well, I assume you killed him. Or Hermaeus Mora turned on him when you looked like the winning bet. Or a bit of both. I killed him. Mirak's influence has vanished from Solstein. So, I assumed you handled things. Why? Did something interesting happen? I just killed Mirak and saved Solstheim. Nothing interesting at all. Well, that is what you hero types do, isn't it? I wasn't expecting anything less. I don't like you. Now all that's left are these black books. It's Ooh. a shame I haven't located any more. So much more to be learned. Will you show me the other ones? What? What are you doing? What? what? Am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? Are you, did you just make a light like it's too dark in your own damn house? Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. No, I haven't seen Verona. Well, find her. What? Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. Uh, why don't you just make your own tea? What? Make my own tea? I am a master wizard of the house Telvani. Other people make tea for me. All right, of course, Master Neoloth, as you command. 
That that has to be read sarcastically. Finally, someone who recognizes my importance around here. Did you have the armor that was really good? The magic negating armor from Morrowind? Probably. Uh, can I help with your research? I'm running low on heartstones. I happen to have one if on me. If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. I heard there was that was going to be important, so I have a heartstone. I brought one. I just kept one. I dumped the rest. Excellent. I'll take it. Here, have some septums. Okay. I guess that's it. What can you tell me about Morrowind, actually? The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. It kind it of has is. has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills, too. In corners? What else? Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our shores. Anything else? When the city of Vivek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. Good riddance. We are still but a shadow of our glorious past, but someday we will rise again. I hope not. I did not like Vivek. They turned on me. Uh, anything else? It's the homeland of the Dunmer. The lesser races call us Dark Elves. Dark Elves? We built great works there, like Vivek and Aldrun. Many of them are destroyed now. Either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. Go Argonians! All right, I think we're done. That's enough. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and activate this. We'll see if we can't find her somewhere. Serious? Seriously? There's, there's like... There's no quest marker for this. I assume she's not in here. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be too easy. But... If they're not going to give me a quest marker, I'm going to be upset. Uh-oh. You've got to help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. All right. I can destroy it for you. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry. I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. All right. Hopefully, after I do this, he can tell me where Verona is. I don't think I've ever taken on an Ash Guardian before. Oh! Eh, maybe we got close, like one got summoned and I killed its master first, but, uh, there you go. All done. Didn't take me too long. Alright, where's Talvis? Did they not activate that as a quest because I already had one? Yep. 